What are the consequences for a child if his parents did not want him? The father and his family refused to accept him, and the mother spent her whole pregnancy in depression and didn't plan on having children at all. Can it be changed? The mother never developed the instincts, and her love for a child is mixed with not accepting the fact that it is necessary to play such a role. I understand. It is quite a broad, many-sided and multi-level question. Let's try to elaborate and expand it. It is due to our attempt to verbalize and elucidate this issue specifically from the magic point of view and not from psychological, neurophysiological and so on. Firstly, we need to point out the following. Magic is based on an immutable postulate that nothing in this world happens by accident. Completely nothing. Sometimes even illogical, unconnected things that don't make any sense, as one would say, nevertheless, have their own reasons. That is why we need to address these reasons beforehand, because in your question you asked if it can be changed. Change what exactly? Mother's attitude towards a child. It is possible. Simple magical manipulations can wake up maternal instinct in woman, or they can shut it down. Meaning that sorcery methods can do that, and depending on mastery and abilities of a practitioner, it is possible to perform absolutely anything. The question is why. But the question is most likely in regards to the position of the child, not as much of the mother. Because the mother, if she is curious, as a rule, it would be the last question she is most likely to ask. That means, this issue belongs directly to a person, or a person close to the one who received such a relationship within his own family. Can we imagine this relationship to be subjective? Of course we can. The parents at the same time may not even see it the same way. And it is most likely so, since they live within the culture that helps them to find the right explanation of their own behavior. Here we talk about a kid's attitude. A child observes, sees his family attitude towards him, compares it, hears the conversations. From all of the above information, he creates a some type of complex of perceptions. Another person, possibly, while hearing all of this, would have it fall on deaf ears, or would completely ignore it, or would evaluate it in a totally different way. But here there is a person who sees such a position of his lifelong conditions that he entered this life with, to be presented only in this particular way and not the other. Is there a reason for that? There is a reason. What could it be and what can be done about it? First of all, again from a magic point of view, we consider that this presence, just like the relationship, would not happen by accident. There is a person, a small person enters this world, and he already possesses a certain neurophysiological composition. He has his own basic structure of consciousness, of matrix that he was born with. It was acquired during a previous reincarnation. He took a bit from his ancestors, a bit from his family, something he accepted from his mother during her nine-month pregnancy. And all of these combined formed a certain matrix of his future personality. Colleagues that study in our school and have already worked with the methods described in a seminar, correction of the prenatal period. They know that if you properly submerge into specific types of memory, it is possible to realize that a child, while being inside the uterus of his mother, in general, he is not just a tiny piece of meat. This piece of meat is able to feel, remember, perceive, and comprehend everything to the best of his conscious ability. 
At least maternal state is captured within him for sure. And it also leaves a print. Since a child, during an intrauterine period, perceives himself as a part of a mother, or rather a mother as a part of himself. Any negative perception of the fetus by his mother will result in a negative discernment and disposition towards himself. It can be a totally deconstructive, absolutely irrational viewpoint, which creates what psychologists call a complex. Our complexes, as a rule, are never objective, never ever objective. They are inspired, inspired by how we perceive them. And such perception was taken on trust. That is why these complexes get piled up together, and consequently, a person during a period of growth and maturity, out of all the relationships in his family, will meticulously pull into the matrix the type of relationship that would support his original viewpoint. Even if he finds himself in a completely different environment, he would do exactly the same thing there. But this is psychology. This psychology interests us simply because it manifests much deeper processes, but magic is the one to explain them. So what does the magic reveal to us in this situation? It says that such submersion of a person and formation of his character, in this case, is totally not by accident. Those are exactly the invariables and basic fundamentals that a person either needs to learn to interact with or perceive a surrounding reality through this prism. Yet a person can accomplish so much if he is absolutely sure on the level of his neurons and subcortex that no one loves him in this world. At exactly the same time, a person may do totally nothing with such an attitude. The question is how he applies this quality. Just look, what a chance was given by fate in its essence. It says, learn to be independent. Learn not to rely on anyone, even on the closest people, even on your family. Here is mother. Is it possible that a mother does not love? Well, here you got this case scenario. A mother doesn't love. Basically, you can't even rely on her. But considering it all, there is an inner feeling of one's own character, one's own, possibly, uniqueness, even if it is undisclosed, even with such a bare, reverse and nervous structure. But it also says about its uniqueness. But the premise suggests that if you forget that you may rely on someone, if you don't consider people with their favourable attitude towards you, then, perhaps, you can possibly achieve something in this life that you couldn't achieve at all in the previous ones. Maybe, possibly, this is your last chance to do what would never be taken away by other people, would never be divided. It is an achievement that you can accomplish in this life under such circumstances. It won't be divided equally among those who helped you. It could possibly be that way. Anything can happen. It is important how you see this question. And here we can also take a look at this issue from several perspectives. From the kin point of view, and the point of view of the actual structure of the family, the family attracts a certain soul. A person born within the structure of such soul occupies a certain cell within the family, it takes a defined position, and this position is conditioned. It is conditioned by the kin itself, by its regina, meaning that it is a simple math of the egregorial structure that created a spot for this person. Yes, perhaps this spot does not imply that the family will provide you with certain resources. But, nevertheless, it will give you a minimal power, 
at least a minimal life force, a push as well as the right by blood. Therefore, it is not a complete rejection by the kin, these are just specific conditions. It is almost like sitting on the steps beside the door. You should always be ready to stand up and leave. The kin does not bind you by its contract. It simply has no right to bind you to itself. So that you can stand up at any moment and accomplish the goal that you came here to achieve. And so this type of relationship may also be connected to that. If you try to look at the situation from this point of view, and not from a position of life misjustice, in a disgrace, but rather look much deeper, nothing even happens in vain. And who knows, perhaps you were the one who, while choosing from a wide variety of scenarios and families, and understanding that maybe it is one of your last arrivals into this world, or maybe the final, or maybe a very important, a very crucial one. When there is not much overall time left, and you still need to do a lot, then you need to, right off the bat, find yourself in situations, in the environment, which will stimulate you this way. And maybe you were the one who chose such a family, knowing that there won't be any love. A woman who does not feel love towards her child, if we talk about a mother, There might be numerous reasons for that. It does not mean at all that she possesses some negative qualities or she is simply a bad person. You need to be aware of a person's life, her teenage desires, and understand if these desires were achieved or not before a child was born. Or you can just compare the culture in which this person lives, the one that insists, give a birth, get married, be like everyone, and her inner deeper needs that completely deny all of it. Maybe at that moment, a woman also had a difficult, fateful conflict, which she tried and is still trying to resolve. A resistance between a personal and social matter. Separate yourself from the mother, get finally out of the uterus, perceive yourself as a discreet personality, not connected to her. From the moment you took a first breath, you are personally responsible for your own life and fate, as well as for your attitude towards it. If you consider all of your life positions from the point of view of positive aspects and not negative ones, you will be able to achieve quite a bit. Everything that I just described, in its essence, we study during our fourth course of the main faculty when we work with family lines, with time, with consolidation of the life paths. Negative events as a source, all of it together gives an opportunity to look at things this way and be able from every uncertain and unsuccessful situation, from a cultural, traditional and perhaps religious or any other traditional system point of view. Be able to make, twist, so to say, the results in such a way that they become a great fuel, a great engine, almost as if creating a spark for a further action, for a further existence. Just remember, nothing ever happens by accident, even if we can't logically explain something. This means that a cultural tradition we exist in does not provide us with those logical explanations. Even if it gives them to us, then they don't follow the algorithms that will lead you to success. In the culture you live in, they correspond to the principle of evil and not the ones of good. And it is your task to twist them in such a way so they will become good. Meaning that you need to find, for example, a culture that considers exactly this type of parental behavior with their children to be very, very appropriate. For example, the Spartan culture. 
apply yourself to the sources, read the information, which there is plenty in regards to this amazing experiment that took place in Sparta at a certain time. A purely magical experiment. And try to realize that maybe your flaw originates exactly from this source.